What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a two hole oil change on my 2020 Harley Davidson Sportster 48. The Evo motor only has a two hole for oil change. So therefore we're just gonna be changing the primary fluid and the motor oil. So if that's what you're here for, or if you're just here because you enjoy my content, why don't you do me a favor and click that like button and that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get a wrenching. All right guys, so the first thing with any oil change is you're gonna wanna actually ride the bike for anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes. What you wanna do there is just to try to get the oil flowing as well as get the engine oil and the primary fluid heated up so it drains more efficiently and you can get as much as the old oil out as possible. I already went ahead and did such. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're gonna be accessing the drain plug and start draining our fluid. So if you guys own Sportsters, you should know that they don't have a typical drain plug like a twin cam or Milwaukee 8. It's actually a little tube with a, a plug in it and that tube is actually routed right up here. It's gonna be hard to see, but you can see that there's a clamp there. So we're gonna to wanna to pop that clamp off and get the tube out so we can drain the oil. Obviously, if you guys don't have a swing arm bag like I do, it'd be much easier to get the clamp off. But, uh, so as you see, I got that clamp off. This is what the clamp looks like. It just pretty much pinches that tube right on the uh, rear part of the frame there. So now that that's off, we can just kind of route this hose out. And as you can see, we can just take a flat tip and take the hose clamp off and then just pull this plug out and it will drain it. So you guys could do this using a flat tip or a quarter inch socket. As you can see, there is oil coming out. The next thing we can do is pull the dipstick so it allows more air in. Also, while the oil drains out, I will be cleaning off the dipstick. So for the primary, it's gonna be a 5 8 socket right here, just below the derby cover. So what I'm gonna do is finagle this drain pan here. And as you can see, there's always gonna be some metal shavings on the primary just because of the clutch basket and such. That stuff's always constantly wearing. But in the meantime, while this drains, I'm gonna wipe this plug off and start cracking the torque spits on the derby cover. I'll show the blooper. As you can see, I had a little mishap with the oil pan. So I spilled oil all over my lift. Okay, so using a T25 Torx bit, we're gonna take the derby cover off. But before you do that, make sure you have like a towel or something to lay the derby cover on. So that way you don't damage it in the meantime. As you can see here, I am changing the fluid because I've ridden in some colder weather and you can see this white crap built up, which means it never fully got hot enough to burn off all the moisture. So that's bad on my part, but you guys can see this firsthand and that's also why I'm changing the oil. So at this point, while your oils are draining out, you can go ahead and remove the oil filter. There's never really a clean way to do this. I have this fancy tool here, but we'll see how well it works. Of course, Harley has to. So as you can see, I'm struggling with this one. And that was last serviced at the Harley dealer. You don't ever really have to go this tight. Just hand tight and just maybe a little snug after that, but nothing to this extreme. Okay, so you're gonna take your new filter and then just take some new oil and just go around the seal. And then we're gonna just start putting this on by hand. And then like I said, once you get it hand tight, we can just go just a little bit more, but you don't wanna go too crazy. All right, so once you reinstall your oil filter, so at this time I'm just going to wipe off the drain plugs again and reinstall them. I'll drop the torque specs for the primary. 
Okay, now that I got the oil plug reinstalled, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the primary plug. At this point, after you reinstall the drain plug for the motor oil, you can go ahead and route this back up and clamp it right back up. Okay, now that both drain plugs are reinstalled, we can go ahead and start filling fluids. Okay, so real quick, before we go fill the fluids, I just wanted to talk about the oil capacities of the bike itself and what the owner's manual recommends you to fill them with. So to start off, the oil tank with filter is 2.8 quarts, okay? But according to the owner's manual, they want you to pour two quarts in all right, they will need to add four fluid ounces to the oil filter, run the bike, get it to operating temperature, and recheck it. So that's what we're gonna do. Now for the primary, obviously the primary takes one quart, and they are recommending to add one quart or 0.95 liters, but I just wanted to note those oil capacities real quick from what the bike is in running order versus when you change the oil, how much you're gonna physically be able to get back in. So now we can proceed with filling the bike with the fluids. Okay, obviously the oil drain plug is reinstalled. So we can start by adding the two quarts that is recommended by the owner's manual. All right, so now with the two quarts added, I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall the dipstick for the time being. Okay, so at this point, we've reinstalled the drain plug for the primary. Now we can go add our fluids. O-ring in, we can reinstall the derby cover using the T25. As noted earlier, just gonna start the first one just to help pull this cover here. And I like to just kind of keep pressure on the cover so the O-ring stays seated. And we're just gonna be working kind of in a crisscross pattern. And as you can see, I'm just kind of just starting all of them until I get them all started. Then I will go around and just snug them up. Okay, so once you fill up the first two quarts, we're gonna go ahead and start the bike. And what we're gonna do here is make sure the oil light goes out upon starting the bike. And we're gonna just let the bike get up to operating temperature by idling. And then once the bike is at operating temperature, we're gonna just double check the oil and add if needed. So turn the bike on. Once again, we're just waiting for the oil light to go out once we start the bike. Okay, so after letting the bike run for a couple minutes, we are gonna check our oil. Now the sportsers, you should be checking them on the jiffy stand, but I'm just gonna do a quick check here. It's always gonna read a little bit higher when the bike is upright. So I'm just gonna take that into consideration. Okay, so as you can see, it is slightly low. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to get the bike off the lift and on the side stand where they want you to check the oil. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit more, maybe like a quarter of a quart, and just recheck it. All right guys, so as you saw, I added just a little bit more oil in, which brings the total to roughly about two and a half-ish quarts, probably in between the two quarter and two and a half quart range when it's all said and done. I brought my level to right about the center between the fill and the full. According to the owner's manual, they want you to check it on the jiffy stand, check it when it's hot, as long as it's reading in between both lines they say you are golden so therefore i kind of just met in the middle because they only recommend running the bike for one to two minutes 
then checking the oil so the oil isn't fully hot. So leaving it right about at that middle threshold, it gives some room for the oil to expand when it's fully heated. So all in all, I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you guys. If you guys are still watching, please make sure to smash that like button, comment, click the subscribe button if not already done, and hit that bell icon so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos. Make sure to ride safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!